Hello students today we will start with the new chapter of our class 10th maths and crt textbook that is chapter number 7 so we'll start with the first exercise of the chapter exercise 7.1 question number 1 is find the distance between the following pairs of points so first is points are given 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 1 Let a two comma three and b four comma one be the given points. So here x one is equal to two, y one is equal to three, and x two. x2 is equal to 4 y2 is equal to 1 now ab ab equal to root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square this is the distance formula X two is four, x one is two, whole square plus y two is one minus y one is three whole square. So here two square plus minus two square equal to root four plus four. This gives us root eight, which is equal to two root two unit. Now we will solve question number four. Question number four is check whether five comma two, five comma minus two, six comma four, and seven comma minus two are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. So let p comma p into five comma minus two q comma Q into six comma four, and R into seven comma minus two, be the given points. Then PQ is equal to six minus five whole square plus four plus two whole square. This is the Distance formula is equal to one square plus six square. So this gives us one plus thirty six, which gives us root thirty seven units. Now Q R is equal to root seven minus six whole square plus minus two minus four whole square. This gives us one square plus minus six whole square, which is root one plus thirty six. This gives us root thirty seven units. Then R P is equal to root five minus seven whole square plus minus two plus two whole square. This gives us minus two whole square plus zero, which is root four. That is two units. So here, P Q is equal to Q R. Therefore, P Q R will form the vertices of an Isosceles triangle. Now we'll solve question number six. Name the type of quadrilateral formed if any by the following points and give reason for your answer. So let's solve the first one. Let a minus one comma minus two b one comma zero. C minus one comma two and B 
minus 3 comma 0 be the given points then AB is equal to root 1 plus 1 whole square plus 0 plus 2 whole square is equal to 2 square plus 2 square. This gives us root 4 plus 4 that is root 8 which gives us 2 root 2 units. Now BC is equal to root minus 1 minus 1 whole square plus 2 minus 0 whole square. This gives us minus 2 whole square plus 2 square which gives us 4 plus 4 that is root 8 which is 2 root 2 units. Then comes CD is equal to root minus 3 plus 1 whole square plus 0 minus 2 whole square. This gives us root minus 2 square plus minus 2 square is equal to root 4 plus 4 which gives us root 8 is equal to 2 root 2 units. Then DA is equal to root minus 1 plus 3 whole square plus minus 2 minus 0 whole square. This gives us 2 square plus minus 2 square is equal to root 4 plus 4. That is root 8 is equal to 2 root 2 units. Then AC is equal to root minus 1 plus 1 whole square plus 2 plus 2 whole square. This gives us root 0 plus 4 square which gives us 4 units. And BD is equal to root minus 3 minus 1 whole square plus 0 minus 0 whole square is equal to root minus 4 whole square plus 0 which gives 4 units. So here 4 sides AB, BC, CD and DA are equal and also diagonals AC and BD are equal. So the quadrilateral ABCD is a square.